All right guys, so what we're going to be doing today is disassembling the camera uh, from the Promark GPS Shadow Drone. This is the uh, camera that came off the underside of the drone, the stock 720p Wi-Fi FPV camera. What we're going to be doing today guys is uh, disassembling the shell uh, by removing a bunch of these small screws. Um, all the way around here taking the shell apart and what we want to retrieve out of here guys is going to be this uh, this cable right here this is attached uh, to the Wi-Fi uh, uh, board inside the camera uh, case here so that's what we want to retrieve in order to get this uh, to work correctly this is the servo here it's a four uh, I think it was a five wire servo. Yeah, it's a five wire servo. This one right here is the one that we want to get to uh, to be able to use our telemetry with an action cam. Uh, I saw another uh, YouTuber do this and I thought I would uh, post this on my channel as well so my viewers can see um, how this is done. Um, so basically all we're really going to need is a, a small uh, Phillips head screwdriver and then something to catch our uh, hardware in. and don't mind these screws over here that's from something else but uh, we want to catch our hardware and keep our hardware all intact uh, so let's go ahead and start removing these screws and it looks like there's one two three four five six seven probably ten maybe twelve screws on the outside here that we have to remove so I went ahead and I've got a couple of them out already but we're going to continue uh, with this and get the rest of these out and uh, keep them uh, in case we want to use uh, the shell of this uh, camera for another purpose. I'm always into repurposing things um, and this might be something that I might want to use to put uh, a 5.8 gigahertz uh, camera in at some point going forward. And I did take some of these out already so I'm not hitting it. There we go. Um, so yeah this is something I may uh, end up keeping and then uh, using and repurposing later on down the line. But we'll go ahead and get these out here and uh, I'll continue on this and I'll pause it for a moment here guys so you're not having to sit through all of this I'll get another one out here and I'll pause this and then I'll be back as soon as I get this um, all the screws out of here be right back guys all right guys I've got all the screws out of here now we can start taking the shell apart this is going to come off in a couple different pieces here so I think the main thing we have to do is just be careful uh, when we're taking this apart that we're not ripping any cables or connections on the inside here. I want to make sure I've got all my screws out and I've got one more right here that's going to kind of hold us up. So let's go ahead and see if we can... Oh, maybe that is out. Maybe it is out. It's just fighting me a little bit. There we go. So now everything is, everything is free and clear. Um, let's go ahead and just set this back here and then route this Wi-Fi antenna through here as not to pull it on it at all and then this is one half and it did have about 10 screws it looks like guys right here they're all the same size so there's no worries about putting it back together getting screws in the right spots anything like that so everything is uh, pretty much uniform in size there good thing I'm um, going to set our tools off to the side and kind of go through uh, what our halves are here. Now this is going to be the half that houses the servo uh, for the self uh, for the articulating camera. This is the little motor inside here that actually uh, does that. Um, and this does come apart here yet, so this will come out. And then these two shell halves, um, one here, and then the other one being on this side here. So this we're not going to need this here, guys. So we can set this aside for now. We'll go ahead and put that right over here in our parts tray. This is the side that I want to get at and uh, actually salvage the um, board off of here. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this Wi-Fi camera and I'll show you that in a second. Um, now we have the camera section right up in front here. There might be a screw in here to hold that in. I'm not quite sure. Let's take a look here though. It doesn't appear to be. It looks like it's just kind of slid into place there. So let's see if I can get this slid out carefully. Well, carefully nothing. I just broke my camera lead too, but that's actually okay. Um, that's actually fine. Um, maybe it isn't broken. I might have just pulled it, pulled it out. It looks like there's a little uh, hinge on here, and I'll show you that in a second here. Looks like there's a little uh, hinge, kind of like you guys ever worked on uh, a 
Uh, if you guys have ever worked on an iPhone or an iPad or anything like that, uh, there are these little hinges that open. This will pop straight up and open. Um, I think what I've done here is, eh, it looks like I might have broken that. Uh, let's see if I can get this up and off of here. And I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to check this out and see if, there, if there's any way I can get this open and get, get that broken piece out of there. Because I'm pretty sure I just pulled that out. That's what I kind of wanted to avoid doing in case I wanted to use this camera or this board again. The board might be usable, but I think, I think what I've done here is actually ripped uh, this uh, ribbon cable. You can see right here. I think I've actually ripped that ribbon cable um, and it's not going to be usable anymore. But, uh, yeah, oh well. Uh, I think the cameras are going to be replaceable. You could probably get them online if you really wanted another one. Um, it's not that big a loss because that camera wasn't that great anyway, but I still like to salvage things. So give me one second, guys. I'm going to do some research on here, and I'll be right back when, I'm, when I find out what's going on here. All right, guys. Here's the piece that I pulled out of there. You can see uh, this is what was stuck underneath that gate on that circuit board. And I don't know if you guys can make this out or not, but it definitely was broken. Uh, there is a... There is a uh, little glue on there, and it looks like that uh, that ribbon cable from the camera was glued um, or somehow sealed onto this. And then this whole this whole top right here um, was actually the contact point underneath that gate against that board. So that camera's baked; it's no good. So we'll set that aside for now. Um, that's fine. I really wasn't too concerned about the camera. I wanted to make sure that the integrity of the board stayed as is, is, is true to its original state as it started uh, out being. But you can see by looking in here, guys, there's a lot of a lot of schmutz. There's a lot of uh, glue in here that, that, I mean, I understand they're doing that so it doesn't vibrate maybe or so it doesn't come apart uh, from use, but uh, when you start to get into having to do something under the hood, so to speak, uh, you're faced with a lot of, you know, futzing around and, and prying glue and, and this and that and the other thing, which is fine, I guess. But um, so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and leave that for now. I'm pointing a couple things out here, guys. Here's the Wi-Fi antenna. The Wi-Fi connection is right here. So essentially, what I could do with this is mount a uh, a Wi-Fi uh, router antenna, uh, such as. Uh, let's see if I've got that in here, and I might not have it handy, uh, but I've got another router antenna. I don't know what I did with it right now, but I could probably mount somewhere outboard uh, and connect it directly on here because I believe it's got the same connector on it. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. I kind of do want to show you this, so let me see if I can find that antenna handily. And you know, because I'm looking for it, because I really want to show it to you. Uh, I won't be able to find it, but as soon as I turn the camera off, um, it'll fall from the sky and be right out in plain sight. Well, that's neither here nor there right now. So the Wi-Fi antenna, you guys might want to refer back to a video I did uh, for the upgrade um, on this transmitter for this drone. Uh, the Wi-Fi antennas come stock uh, with this type of connector on it, and I don't want to touch a whole lot of metal on here, with this type of connector on here right here. And basically all you would do is just pry this off, and you can see that they've glued that as well. Uh, but all you would have to do is pry that off of there and then install, uh, snap the other antenna in, and then run it and, and uh, mount it wherever you want it to mount it. Um, now, I believe that there's going to be screws, and they're probably underneath these blobs of um, glue. Let me, um, let me just uh, pause this for a second, guys, and do some investigating uh, and see how this is actually uh, fastened to the side of the shell. I'll be right back, guys. So in further investigation, um, it was basically just glued into place. Um, there is no um, screws holding this to anything uh, that I can see. So I think we're going to be safe in just um, prying, gently prying the rest of this out of the shell here and getting it out of the way. Um, and yeah, there we go. So actually, here's the uh, SD card uh, slot right here. And um, that's going to be of no use to us anymore. Just making sure that I'm not tearing anything here now. No, but it's just hot glue. 
So let's go ahead and just pry that off of there. This is the part that we want to keep, guys. This is going to be um, our antenna, or actually our Wi-Fi lead right here. Uh, the white, uh, blue, black, and red uh, lead right here. We've got to be kind of careful with this one because the first time I disconnected this camera, I accidentally broke um, this connector right here and I had to uh, take some uh, tire glue from uh, RC tire glue and carefully put this back into place and then kind of just a real small dot of tire glue um, is holding this together. So we have to kind of be careful. Uh, I have to kind of be careful in handling this uh, cable right here. But everything is um, seems to be intact. I'm going to go ahead and get some of this glue off of here. Um, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to encase this too. Because essentially what this what's going to happen with this is it's going to sit, excuse me, it's going to sit um, on the outside of the quadcopter somewhere. And then I'm going to dangle this antenna or tie it to one of the uh, uh, one side of the landing gear and then go from there. My hopes are this is going to work the same way um, another YouTuber had it working where he was able to use a, an action cam um, on his quadcopter, on the quadcopter, and still get telemetry. That's what I'm looking to do. That's why this is all happening here. I want to get that telemetry uh, to be able to see you know, distance, all of that stuff, my GPS satellites, all of that type of stuff. I want to be able to see that yet. I don't care about the camera that came on it. I don't care about 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I just don't. Um, it's cool to have if you're a newbie or whatever and you want to check, you want to play around with that type of stuff. It is cool. Okay, I'll, I'll put it that way. It is cool. That camera did take good stills, um, but it, for, for using it for a Wi-Fi FPV, no. The only way I was ever going to think of doing that is um, if I could get a, uh, if I could uh, utilize a uh, repeater. And I've tried several different repeaters um, on this Wi-Fi signal from uh, this drone and there is just, it's not happening. So that being said, um, this is what we're, this is kind of the final product here, what we're left with. This is the actual piece that I wanted. Um, so now it's going to be a matter of uh, figuring out how I'm going to mount this, um, how I'm going to cover it. I'll probably end up putting it in some sort of, uh, some sort of Casing. I don't, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fashion that yet, but I'm going to cover it with something so I'm not, so it's not uh, exposed to the elements, so to speak, and it's going to be safe to use that way. Um, but next video, um, I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, um, I grab the drone, um, and I, I might actually roll that into this video, depending on how long we're going right now, but or I may not. But uh, either on this video, or I'm going to roll a new video, and I'm going to show this connected to the um, uh, ProMark GPS Shadow Drone, and uh, with the app on, and I'll show you that, uh, and let you know if it's getting telemetry or not, or if it's not. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for stopping over at the channel and checking it out and sitting sitting around with me while I pick it. This thing. Um, I appreciate everybody stopping by. I appreciate everybody's uh, comments and all the new subscribers. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and hit that bell up next to the subscription button uh, so you get all my content going forward. That's pretty much it. We'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless the Republic.